Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing chili garlic paratha made with whole wheat flour. This layered paratha is healthy and easy to make. So let's get started with the recipe. To make chili garlic layered paratha into a bowl, I'm adding in one and a half cups whole wheat flour. And to this, I'm adding in pink Himalayan salt as needed. I'm just lightly mixing this. Add in water little by little and mix and knead it into a soft dough. And once it has gathered into a dough, I'm placing it on my work surface and I'm kneading it really well. And once nicely kneaded and the dough is soft, I'm placing it back on the bowl and adding in a little bit of desi ghee. I'm just coating the desi ghee all over the dough. And I'm going to allow the dough to rest while I get the other ingredients ready. Next, I'm finely chopping a handful of garlic cloves. So with my knife, I'm just finely chopping the garlic loaves. And once the garlic is finely chopped, add it into a bowl. Into the bowl, I'm finely chopping in one green chilli. Into this, I'm finely chopping in one handful of uh, coriander leaves. Make sure you are chopping the leaves very finely. I'm adding in one fourth teaspoon pink Himalayan salt or as needed. I'm adding in three tablespoon organic A2 desi ghee. If you are vegan and want to avoid dairy, you can use wood pressed groundnut oil instead. So I have added 3 tablespoon A2 desi ghee and now I am mixing this really well and I am going to keep this aside. The dough is ready and the garlic filling is ready. I am dividing the dough into equal portions. So I have divided the dough into 4 equal portions. At this moment I am also heating my cast iron tawa. Place the dough on the work surface, sprinkle some whole wheat flour and coat the dough with the whole wheat flour and roll it out into a thin circle. So I have rolled it out into a thin roti. Place one tablespoon of the filling and spread it all over the roti. And then I am running my pizza cutter I'm making small strips with the pizza cutter. You can also use a knife instead of a pizza cutter. Make sure you leave one inch at the top and that helps to roll without breaking. So just simply roll towards you and then lightly stretch it. Roll. and tuck underneath. Rustle a little bit of desi ghee on the sides and on the center. Flip it over. Little bit on the center and on the sides. And once done, remove to a plate. And once the parathas are ready, just crush it as I am showing.
see how layered and flaky this paratha is so guys do try this layered chili garlic paratha and let me know how it turned out thank you for watching and until next time take care bye bye